So in this video, what I want to do is tie up some loose ends and some questions regarding my experimental setup from the previous video about the deflection of a laser beam. So this is uh, the mirror that I use to run the beam across my garage. I'm just testing this edge diffraction idea. This uh, aluminum cylinder across the beam like this. That's what I'm doing right now. Just that. And I'm seeing a little bit of a little bit of deflection of the beam. It's really hard to tell. The speed at which I move Right there, just a tiny bit of deflection. You, you won't be able to see it on the camera, and I apologize for that, but right there, the way it shifted, it looked like the beam was looked like the beam was being deflected. This is what I'm doing. I'm just jittering this rapidly. There it is moving. It looks like it's moving a little bit. Okay, so here's what is going on. As the uh, aluminum bar, if I just put it steadily beside the beam, kind of like that <clears throat> it has no strange effect on the dislocation of the spot here but if I suddenly jerk it away then it looks like the beam is actually being slightly deflected if I jerk away there it's not going to show up on the camera very well, but so it has to do with the the speed at which um, I move the aluminum round bar, which means it could be an effect of uh, of my eyesight or any human eyesight. However, I'm still getting noticeable movement of the beam with the magnet. This magnet here, just moving it around, but I'm doing it um, quite a bit below the beam. So there's where the beam actually touches the surface of the magnet. But if I go down, quite a bit down, see I'm seeing, I'm a few centimeters down from the beam. If I just jitter it around, there is some deflection here happening. It's it's the beam is slightly moving. I can see it, and yet uh, the magnet's probably about four centimeters below the path of the beam, and there is a bit of of uh, diversions. Like I can see, I can see the profile here on the surface of the magnet. The way the beam diverges, so. It's not a very uh, well, perfectly collimated beam. That's 
PSA ramp pulse at two hertz. The neodymium magnet up here. And I'm just gonna see if there's any action over here. And I can't see anything. And that's the uh, bismuth epoxy cylinder, which I tried to spin up to see a deflection in a laser beam, which I thought I did in the previous video, but after testing it again, I didn't see any results with it. And this is the high voltage transformer for my power supply. This is the multiplier, which should give me around 70,000 volts. This is uh, an aluminum flat plate that I use to test for deflection of the laser beam by charging it up to 70,000 volts positive. This is a permanent magnet, which I also charged up to high voltage um, and ran the laser beam across the surfaces of these. Um, that is a test tube with a dielectric powder inside and a thin wire, which I charge up to high voltage. And you can see the laser beam there grazing the edge.